What is up, YouTube? We are going to do a quick little video. I want to do this video for you because I want to teach you about wrestling figures, WWF figures, WWE figures, whatever you want to call them. Wrestling figures, WCW, ECW, it doesn't matter. Wrestling figures, let me tell you what they're worth, let me tell you the brands, let me tell you how to clean them, and let me tell you the best way to list them and to take photos. I'm gonna give you a little inside for free. No, for, for free, I'm gonna give you a little inside cheeky little tip of how to do these photos. So good. My way, this is all my way. If you wanna sit back and watch, join me. If you don't wanna, see you later. There's other content. But if you are joining me, let's do this. Let's do it. What you gonna do, brother, when you do this? So let's head over to my theater room uh, where I have a big fuck off box of wrestling toys. Get out of here, home wrecker. Okay, so here is the big tub of wrestling figures that I own that I've been collecting over the years and also that I've had since I was a kid. Um, there's, I haven't counted them, but I know, I know there's over at least, uh, there's nearly 2,000. There is a lot, there's nearly 2,000 in here. Um, I am going to tip these out. I am going to collect a few wrestlers. I'm going to show you the difference between a fair few of them and um, explain a lot of the old ones compared to the newish ones and how we can um, list them how we can list them in better ways uh, better photos and better ways of describing them so I'm gonna go through these uh, I'm gonna dig out some wrestlers and um, there's Goldberg who's next <sighs> I think this is a 2011 uh, Jax model um, of the 1992 Shawn Michaels. Pretty cool. So let me grab out a whole heap. <clears throat> I'm going to explain and I'm going to show you how to take photos and list them better. Just my way and uh, how to clean them up as well. Alright guys, I want to take you through and I don't want to spend too much time on this because I want to show you how I do the photos as well and how I clean. But I'll give you a quick rundown of different uh, years and ones that are worth more money that you should be looking for. So when I went through the box I found a whole heap that I didn't want to sell because I just did not want to sell. So I chucked in a bag for ones that I was willing to sell. And I'm going to explain to you how to lot, how to lot up certain toys as well. So first of all, I'm going to show you the Hasbro series. The Hasbro series, it's pretty simple. The Hasbro series were around 1990, 1991. They went till about 1994, I'm pretty sure, and there is a few good rare ones. You get some all right money for these. You don't want to pay over five bucks for one of these, but these could fetch you 15 to 20 dollars singly. I love the Hasbro series. The Hasbro series, look it up. Hasbro series, beautiful figures. I can get a fair bit of dosh for just these if I lotted them up. If you ever find these Hasbro series of the WWF or WWE, whatever you want to call it, grab them. Grab them. Don't pay too much. Don't pay too much. There's certain characters, if you've still got them in the uh, in the plastic and in the cardboard, that will fetch good money. There's my Ultimate Warrior Hasbro, Hulk Hogan Hasbro. The Macho Man, oh yeah, and Hulk Hogan. So they're the Hasbro series that you want to look for. You can lot them up. Look, I've got 10 of them here, which easily I could get about $120 for, depending on which figures you get. Keep an eye out for the Hasbro series, especially the 1991. So the Hasbro series were freaking awesome. They're awesome find, uh, and you will get some good dosh for them. You want to look for you want to look for the LJN wrestling superstars that were in the 80s, the first lot of our uh, wrestling figures that came out. Now they were, this is not from the line, but this is an example. They were the big fat rubber, rubber ones that you could smash. Now these are WCW ones. WCW were Glob, some other shitty company. Now as you see, these are very, very dirty. Um, and they got a lot of marks on them, a lot of marks on them. I'll try and show you how to get them off 
but be careful because you can take a lot of the uh, uh, paint and all that off um, as well. So these are the WCW line. Um, I can get for these two, I can get about 20 bucks each for these. So if you found these big rubber ones and you pay a dollar for them and all that, you're laughing. But if I put up here, uh, for instance, the LJN ones of the WWF ones that first originally came out, uh, the Hulk Hogan one is what you want. I found a Hulk Hogan one and I did pay $12 for it. And it was as dirty as all this. And I didn't even clean it. I just sold it as it was. If I cleaned it, I would've got more money and I got 50 bucks for it. 50 bucks for it and they paid for their own postage. So look out for the big fat rubber ones um, because you'll find Ratty Piper, uh, Andre the Giant and all that. And especially if you had all of them, you'll make some good, good money. So yeah, these are the WCW ones as well and they'll pick up a few bucks as well if you can find, especially if you can find Ric Flair. Woo! Next up are the 1998 Jack Pacific uh, figures. Now these WWF figures were really cool. They were once again rubber. They were the rubber figures. But they were trying, uh, I don't have any of the 1996 figures to show you because they were shit and I didn't collect them. But these ones people still like as well. These rubber figures, that's Mankind right there. And very dirty, very dirty because I used to smash the shit out of these. I used to absolutely beat the crap out of each other with these. Now these 1998 figures, definitely worth uh, paying a couple of bucks for. I and mean, if you get them from op shops, Mankind as you see comes with a mask. You definitely want the accessories because people love that shit. One of the Road Warriors. I've got another one of Legion of Doom as well. Um, if you've got the uh, helmet and if you've got the spikes, even better. People love that shit. Um, a lot of these are actually pretty dirty, so I'm going to go through and show you the different types of plastics, the way we can clean them as well. But um, I've got about 10 of these ones, which I'm happy to uh, take a photo and lock them up. And I've got a cool little way, because this was the Attitude Era, and I've got a cool little theme of the Attitude Era, the way I'm going to take the photos for these to lock them up to make them sell quicker and I'll show you that when we take a photo of these ones. Now WCW in 1999 wanted to compete with the WWE, of course they were doing very good in the ratings and all that, so they brought out a line of figures as well, so that's the big show, it was the giant in WCW, and here's Goldberg, they came out with the hard plastic with Showbiz, uh, show, Toy Showbiz, Showbiz, something like that, Toy Showbiz, um, there's Buff Bagwell, these hard plastic ones uh, were pretty popular as well. Um, I'm going to lot up uh, these four with this Hulk Hogan one. Yeah, I'm going to depart with the Hulk Hogan one just for you guys. And uh, an NWO Kevin Nash as well. Once again, I'm going to clean these up. Um, I'm going to show you how because it's a different, totally different plastic and a different way of cleaning each one that I like to clean. So Jack Pacific were around for a while and they were making really good figures. And as you see, these figures, in my opinion, from a figure fan, the articulation where you can just move the arms and the hands around, the legs, you can do kicks, everything. The articulation on these are just brilliant. Have a look on the shoe. On the shoe, it would tell you what year they were made, if they're Jack Pacific, if they're uh, Mattel, if they're whatever brand, if knockoff brand, it would tell you, So, which is pretty cool. So we'll give these ones a clean up. So I've got a little way of the way I'm going to list these. Um, I've got a few of the Jack Pacific. Um, this is a Jack Pacific as well. But I'll also show you the line that came out after these, because these ones came out pretty cool. Uh, good size realistic size and all that as well and were fun to play with in the ring but then unfortunately in 2010 uh, Martel uh, took over and they started making uh, these ones and uh, these ones were I just not a fan but they still go so you'll still get if I sold this rock by himself I'd get about $15 if I sold this John Cena I'd, I'd get about 12 to $15 plus they will pay for their postage so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock The Rock and John Cena up together. This is a 2011 Mattel and this is a 2010 Mattel. Now at WrestleMania 28 main event, The Rock and John Cena fought each other and that was 2012, so a year after these were made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock these two up together and name it WrestleMania 28 main event just to get people's attention just to, uh, if there's a kid out there and they're watching the wrestling and they go, I want a Rock and I want a John Cena and I want them of that year that uh, where they look like what they were wearing in the ring and everything. Rock had the goatee. Rock had the goatee then. 
So they want to play with those two toys, so we're going to make a WrestleMania main event lot. And I'm also going to show you how I lot up uh, a lot of things as well. Um, we're going to do about four different lots, five different lots, and I'm going to show you different photos um, of the way I do it. But let's have a look what I use to clean. All you got to do is go down to your local, local supermarket. You need some cotton tips. You need some nail polish remover and this contains acetone. I need these little uh, wipey wipey smudge makeup motherfucker things. And you don't have to really give too much of a clean. I use these antibacterial wipes. They cost $3.50. I use them for everything. I use them to wipe my DVDs down and videos. Some paper towels, an old toothbrush, and some eucalyptus dental. So if, I, if this John Cena didn't have too much marks on it, I would just give him a clean with these wipes. Simple as that. But there's still, no, nah, that mark's coming off. So these wipes, antibacterial wipes, usually do the trick and I don't have to do anything else. Nothing else that's too special. Antibacterial wipes, just cleaned John Cena up. There we go. John Cena's pretty clean, I'm happy with that. A little spot there. That didn't come off. So I don't want to give you too much advice on using nail polish remover because when you use nail polish remover and acetone, you could take off too much plastic. Now, with other toys and all that, I would I would suggest getting black marks and all that off with this. I am not going to show you this. I am not going to do this for you because I am not going to tell you to do this. If you want to experiment yourself, this is your own choice. You can watch other tutorials. It does work. I'm going to stick with the norms, the easy, the easy. So John Cena looks clean. We're using another new wipe for the rock. We'll get him nice and shiny for the photo session. If he looks like he needs even more scrubbing, we'll, we can get right in there. If he's got a little bit of a, a little bit too much, he wants to get really scrubbed up. I don't like to full on barb them and chuck them straight in. I like to only if they're dirty. I don't only do this what I'm doing with the toothbrush if they really need it. They don't need it, they only need one of these. Make them look nice and shiny before their photo shoot. Look how good the rock looks there. Look at that. And then some paper towels just to dry them off. And he is disinfected. You're not gonna get in trouble from any kid that buys this and shoves it in their mouth and gets sick. He's disinfected now. Look how clean the rock looks. He looks good. He's ready for his photo shoot against John Cena. So if I'm recommending anything to wash them, I say disinfectant, disinfectant, bacterial wipes, and just your uh, paper towels. That's all you need. That's really all you need. And don't forget your toothbrush. If you want extreme, if you need extreme clean, then you go the nail polish remover and these things. That's when you need the extreme clean for necessary. But in the meantime, this is good. Now what props am I gonna use, do you ask? Well, here we go. My props, these are my props, my way of doing it. You're gonna say, where the fuck and why are you gonna use this? Get yourself some of this from a building site for nothing. I got this from Bunnings for $15, but I'm gonna use it and utilize it and utilize it because I've utilized it that many times. Why? This is a steel cage. This is going to be your steel cage. It's gonna look awesome for effects. What other props? Black backdrop. We want a black backdrop. I'm sure everyone's got an American flag. We're gonna use an American flag and go do yourself a favor and pick yourself up a wrestling ring. You can pick yourself up for $10 from Marketplace, from anywhere, just pick yourself up a wrestling ring. Now, this was one of my new ones that I took out of the box, uh, but I didn't put the WWE stickers on it, and I left the WWE sticker off, and the SmackDown sticker off, just in case I'm using the WCW ones in the ring and all that, I don't want WWE logos everywhere, okay? So let's go into the photo room, let me show you, let me show you this, let's do it. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? Okay, so what I've done is I've started off with, okay, I've brought the lights in. I've got the light over here as well. Um, I've put the wrestling ring over a nice 
bit of white fabric. This is just going to be for the first photo shoot. Got the steel cage up. I'm uh, deciding if we're going to use that, and um, that is looking like it's going to look pretty sweet. So let me figure out uh, what lot I'm going to do first. That, eh? That's gonna be my photo for the lot. I'll take a photo of that. That's gonna be the 1998 Jack's Attitude Era lot bundle. And that's what I'm gonna take a photo of. Don't need to ring for this one. This one looks pretty cool. That's why I wanted the steel cage for the Attitude Era. Okay, so I'm gonna lock those ones up as the WWE 1998 Attitude Era lot. That is pretty sweet. Easy. I will say that there's some wear on them um, and all that crap, so when you list them, so that there's wear on them. Get the cage up just to make it look a little bit uh, easier for me to hang some wrestlers this time. Um, at WrestleMania 25, now it's always good, like I said, is to go back and have a look and see what some of the matches are, because you might have some figures that had a match against each other, so you can lot them up that way. So I've got some figures, uh, how many is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 figures. It's going to be a lot of 10. Um, in 2009, WrestleMania 25, there was a Money in the Bank ladder match. So I am not only going to put the briefcase in, I'm going to put the ladder in. Also, please note, make sure you put in your pictures uh, that the ring is not included if you're taking the photo in the ring the ring is not included so i'm going to make this wicked fucking picture of the money in the bank ladder match so kids can buy these 10 figures to recreate the money in the bank ladder match this is going to be fucking sweet Uh, the people that were in the Money in the Bank were Kane, CM Punk won the briefcase, Fit Finley was in there, Hornswoggle, Kofi Kingston, there's MVP, Christian and Shelton Benjamin, and Mark Henry. So there is the Money in the Bank from WrestleMania 25. Um, that looks pretty fucking sweet. I'll include the briefcase and the ladder, just the ring is not included. That's a fucking, that is awesome. That's gonna look awesome. I will show you uh, in the, um, at the end, all the photos and how I listed it. But that is going to be uh, WrestleMania 25, Money in the Bank, Ladder Match. Custom Bundle. Make sure you put Custom Bundle. All right, next one. So I'm going to do something a little bit different now. I'm going to change the uh, backdrop. I'm going to change it to the American flag now. Just change it up and uh, have a few little different things. So I've got two more uh, main event matches to take photos of and then we're done taking photos. <laughs> and that last bit is just John Cena doing his finishing with the Triple H ending of the Wrestlemania 22 main event right there where he picks him up and he slams him but this this setup here is fuck all anyone can do this and it makes it look wicked do your research and your main events of Wrestlemania let's go back into the uh, phantom butthole room so there you have it guys that is how I take photos, that is how I clean everything, that is how I list, that's how I do everything. Now, 
nothing is guaranteed in life so these aren't guaranteed to sell my method isn't guaranteed to work but it is a pretty cool method I like the way I do it let me show you on screen now all the photos I've taken and the way the listings are and yes I would have listed all of these by now So the photos turned out pretty fucking sweet if you ask me. The listings look great. The 
fingers crossed they'll uh, sell my little method. Hopefully it sells and works for you. Um, like I said, look up your uh, Wikipedia, look up your wrestling uh, history and all that, and um, and try and uh, try and try and uh, try and list things smart like that. Um, do main events at WrestleMania and do it the way I do. Otherwise, do the fuck the way you fucking want to do it. I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, that's it. That's all from me. That's all I'm giving you for today's uh, tips. Hope it works. Hope it helps. Cheers, guys. Toodle!